Hi guys and welcome to this last lesson of the recording module. In this lesson I'm just going to give you some very very useful recording tips and I promise you these mistakes have all been learnt from experience and I'm going to pass these on to you so you don't make the same mistakes. So I hope this lesson is really really useful for you. So number one, preparation is key. These are all the things that I recommend you prepare in advance or in prior rather to your musician arriving because you don't want to be doing all of these things when he or she is sitting there because it's just first of all costing you an arm and a leg paying for him or her and it's just eating into your studio time as well your session time so it's best to do all these things before they arrive for example setting up the amp if it's a guitar session if you've got one in your studio already that is have all the leads out have everything plugged in and have everything checked and tested. Believe me, we've made mistakes before where the lead is not working. Don't just assume that everything is working. Check it and double check it. Check your headphones, get them out, get them working, check the level coming out from the door and therefore you can just do a quick adjustment when the musician gets there but it's pretty much ready to go. Do a test recording and check the actual recording, check the leads, check the audio interface, Check that everything's working. Make sure there's no hum or noise, etc. Distortion, etc., etc. Believe me, these are really, really basic tips, but people do get caught out by this, and we've done it ourselves. Number two, check your door, check Cubase, whatever one you're using. Check the sample rate, check the bit depth, make sure they're all set correctly. Close down all other programs that you're not using, particularly the internet, particularly email notifications, things like that. We've been caught out by this. Ding, there's your email, it's messed up your recording. Or your CPU is struggling under doing Chrome, Skype, and all the rest of it. Just get rid of it all and only have Cubase running. Turn off all phones, don't just put them on silent, because everyone knows you get interference from mobile phones, so get rid of them, turn them off. Number three, when the musician has arrived, after your initial cup of tea or whatever, and he or she is having a run through and a practice and you're getting all your levels done correctly, your gain levels, recheck the recording. If anything has changed in your setup, check the recording because there's nothing worse than having a session and discovering that it's distorted or clipped or there's hum on it or whatever, there's a problem because there's no going back, there's no fixing that. You have to do the session again. Try to have your recording levels at about minus 12 dB, so you've got plenty of headroom, at the maximum actually I would say, maybe go even less. Now obviously you don't want to go so low that you're struggling with the noise floor, although there's not a great deal of noise floor in a digital system, not like the old analog days, but even so, just try and get the balance right between not too low and not too high. But do not clip whatever you do, there's just no coming back from that. So check and double check the recordings in the sort of warm up phase when your musician is there. So always check near the start of a session in other words and again check for noise, hum, check you've got a good level and no clipping. Number four, it's really obvious but give the musician or musicians closed back headphones. Again it could be a very simple newbie mistake to give them open back ones but of course you'll get bleed coming out of the headphones and it will spill into your recording and it may or may not completely render it useless or not. We've done this before. We had a dodgy cable once, which was completely our fault, wasn't checked, and we couldn't use the closed back one, so we had to use the open back ones. And this is how you learn, guys. So please learn from us. Number five, again, to do with CPU usage, you've already closed down all your programs and apps that you don't need. But also, if you've got a CPU intensive project, such as lots and lots of MIDI, uh, VSTs running I should say, and you're trying to record audio over the top of that, well it might be a good idea to, rather than, you know, rather than having the problem of your CPU stuttering or losing time or glitching, just bounce down or render out the audio from those VSTs so they're not running anymore and even put it into a brand new project so it's completely fresh and then do your recording in a separate project. The next point is to label everything really really carefully and now this will save you an enormous amount of headache in the future if you've got many 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 audio parts and audio channels all recorded and you don't know which one's which 
you are going to be in a right mess. So always label your tracks as you go, as you record, and label them properly. So, for example, the name of the mic, what type of mic it is. Sometimes the musician's name can help. The instrument can help. Guitar, saxophone, whatever. The position of the mic, was it close, was it on the neck, was it on the bridge, etc, etc. This, I promise you, this is the biggest one of the biggest pieces of advice. It's going to save you so much time and headaches in the long run. So there's loads and loads of tips like that. I, I could be here all day, but those are my main tips for recording. If you follow all of those, then you should avoid all the major problems that could potentially completely ruin your session. And we don't want that, do we, folks? No, that's right. Okay, all the best, guys. I'll see you in the next module when we start getting all this recorded stuff together all, all these hundreds of takes we've got we're going to start processing it all deciding what to keep what not to keep this is the end of the recording module i hope you've enjoyed it and i'll see you in the next one all the best bye bye